I did something very bad. I took this Pono guitar, tuned E to E normally. By the way, this is A, D, P, 6, and I tuned it A to A like a guitar lay. <gasps> oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Find out in this video. Welcome to You Like The Pros, I'm Terry Carter, and this is gonna be a fun video because we took this Pono guitar, this is like a mini guitar, baritone size guitar, tuned E to E normally, like a normal guitar, and we tuned it up A to A. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Can the strings handle it? Is the bridge gonna pop off? What's it gonna sound like? We're gonna go over that in this video. Uh, but anyway, first of all, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn on that bell notification. So this is the Pono, as I mentioned earlier, the A, what is it? <laughs> A, B, D, six, acacia wood, boom, solid sides and back, and then B is a baritone scale length, so it's more like a mini guitar, but baritone, like a baritone ukulele, but baritone six string guitar here. Uh, deluxe, deluxe with the solid cedar top, and then the six string, so absolutely fantastic. I did a video of how Pono recommends, which is E to E, but when I was playing, I was like, you know what? I think this could be tuned like a guitar lately, and guitar lately is tuned A to A. And so in this video, that's what I did. I took the chance, We'll see if anything happens. Are the strings gonna break? Is a bridge gonna pop out? I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine because I just did it. Matter of fact, I'm still kind of tuning it up as we go and through this video. So let's check this out. This is absolutely a fantastic instrument either way. Tune E to E, tune A to A, it doesn't matter. It's a fantastic instrument. Let me do some playing. We'll go over all the specs and I want to hear your opinion on this as well. Man, this is absolutely fantastic. By the way, if I didn't mention it, you can get this store at ukulelepros.com, the number one store online to get all your ukulele, guitar, and guitar lele needs. So, um, so what does it mean when I said I took it from E to E and I tuned it like a guitar lele or a guta lele, a galele, whatever you want to call it, and A to A? Okay, so what does that mean? So traditional guitar tuning. Are you a guitar player? Maybe you are. I am. Leave a comment below if you are. Uh, Normally, it's what? E, this is, by the way, this is not tuned E, I'm just gonna show you E, A, D, G, B, E, right? That's a typical guitar tuning, and that's how this actually comes from Pono. But, as I mentioned, I did another video in that tuning, so if you wanna hear that video, we'll, we'll, we'll have a link of that, or you can find it. Um, but I wanted to tune it A to A, because I felt like when I was doing that video, I felt like these strings had enough Ten, uh, looseness in it that they could uh, handle the extra tension. So what do I do is I'm tuning it up, right? I'm tuning from E, the E to E tuning, to A to A tuning. That means I'm taking every string and I'm tuning up. How big is that? E, <laughs> F, G, A. So I'm tuning it up a fourth. So now I got A as a slow string, D, G, C, E, and A. So the bottom four strings tune just like an ukulele, normal ukulele, G, C, E, A, and then you add the low D here on the fifth string and you add the low A string there. So that's the guitar lady. We take guitar lady very serious. Uh, if you search here on YouTube, guitar lady, you're gonna find a lot of You Collect the Pros, uh, more specifically my videos, and also at youcollectthepros.com. We got guitar lady courses. We got a weekly Q&A for all my premium membership. So if you're interested and wanna learn more about the guitar lady, check out youcollectthepros.com. Come be a part of that You Collect the Pros nation. All right, so this is an absolutely fantastic instrument. I'll do some more playing. I'm gonna do some finger picking, slow it down so you can really hear the sound of this thing. But what I love about this, you got the solid cedar top. Look at that. Solid cedar, and then you do have the really nice rosette here, really, really clean. Now this is actually a really nice piece of cedar here on the top, so why is that? Because this is the deluxe, it's like the pro plastic, I think they call it the deluxe, that means they use a little bit of a nicer wood on it, and they also has the high gloss, and the pro plastic also has the top and bottom bindings, which I'll get to in a second. So cedar wood, it's a great wood, by the way, this is a baritone scale length. I'm going to get to that also in a second. But cedar wood, fantastic wood for classical guitars a lot. A lot of classical guitars really use cedar a lot because of that. It's got nice warmth, but it's also got great projection, especially, and it handles the low... 
the low bass response, as well as the treble. I'll tune, but I'll tune up in a second. Um, also handles the treble as well. So nice solid cedar top. Let me get back to this here. Beautiful top. And as I mentioned here, we have solid acacia. Absolutely a fantastic wood. Acacia is actually part of the Koa family. Solid acacia sides. You do have the ebony binding top and bottom. That's what makes it the pro classic. And then look at this, look at this acacia on the back. Just absolutely fantastic, beautiful, beautiful piece. Again, the deluxe means nicer wood and the gloss finish. And then the pro classic is adding that binding on, which is really nice. Just kind of brings the whole instrument together. Don't you think? By the way, thanks for being here and smashing that like button. All right, let's do a little playing here. I'll do a little more playing and I'll go over all the specs. <laughs> holding up pretty good considering I took those strings literally just a few minutes ago and I stretched them all the way from E to A to A tuning just like a guitar lay. By the way, if you're interested in guitar lay or play guitar lay, by the way, I'm gonna give this to you for free right here. This is my guitar lay pocket chord chart. You can go ahead. This is actually what we send out when anytime you buy a guitar lately from us at store.youcollectorpros.com, but I'll give you the digital version of this. Just click that link below. Get all these guitar lately chords down, especially if it's something you're interested in. And also don't forget you collect the pros for uh, some guitar lately courses. All right, um, so let's check out the rest of this. Baritone scale lengths, baritone body. So you do have the bigger baritone body. It's a little bit wider than like a longer than like a tenor, a little bit wider as well. So you get that big body, nothing like a guitar. I mean, still way, way under a size of a guitar, but compared to a tenor ukulele, definitely got a little bit of that bigger body. Now, you do have the nice satin neck here, this beautiful mahogany satin neck. They really did a great job on this, by the way. Really nice gold Grover tuners here. These things are actually fantastic. You can just see the quality in these tuners right here. You do have the slotted headstock, which is really great. You have the ebony head plate, which kind of brings it all together here. Now, the nut width here is two inches. That is absolutely fantastic. That's what you want in your guitar lately, okay? You need to have that little bit of a wider space because you have so many strings, and on this, this scale length here, you wanna have plenty of space for your... Your fingers, your finger picking, soloing, whatever you're gonna do on it. So two inches there. And then you have the baritone scale lengths too. That's what I mentioned earlier. Not only the body, but the scale length from nut to saddle here, 20 inches. It's just slightly over 20 inches um, for it. But it's absolutely fantastic. It's for those people that want, uh, like I get people that they love the guitar lately, or even like I said, you could tune this E to E like a guitar. But the tenor size, the smaller like 17 inch scale is too too little. It's just little too little. As a matter of fact, it's almost too little for my hands as well because I got big hands. So the 20 inches gives you a little bit more of that space between the frets, gives you just a little bit of a bigger body, a little bit of a longer instrument, but still really, really, really nice compact instrument considering what you get. Um, all right, so that's it. Let me do a little more playing. Uh, oh, by the way, what did I, I forget a couple of things. You got the ebony fretboard. You got the abalone inlays as well. So just an absolutely fantastic. The neck to me feels really nice. I love the satin finish. It's not too thick if you look at it. Really nice profile on it. Feels really comfortable to me when I'm playing it. And actually just a fantastic instrument with the spruce, I mean the cedar, excuse me, and then the really nice acacia wood to kind of give you that nice kind of clarity, that balance and really beautiful overtones. <laughs> Kind of tune it up a little bit, but really nice, really nice, well done instrument. All right, let me do another piece for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
had a little bossa nova as well. Again, this is tuned A to A, just like a guitar lately is, although you can tune these E to E as well. So really fantastic. What do you think of this thing? Are you a guitar player? Are you a guitar lately player? Is it something you're getting thinking about getting into? Go ahead and leave a comment below, and then don't forget, check out all the videos I have here on YouTube and youcollectopros.com where you can get my courses and join the premium membership and come join our weekly Q&A. We take this very seriously. This is a fantastic instrument and a great, great uh, instrument to get into ukulele. It can lead you to guitar. It's just kind of a great transitional instrument. So anyway, I appreciate you being here, uh, smashing that like button and leaving the comments. By the way, I forgot to mention this earlier, a couple really, this is actually important. <laughs> I should have mentioned this earlier. These are made in Java. Island of Java, sent to Oahu, then Pono does their thing over there before they ship them out. Now, what I really like about this too is you got the truss rod. Boom, truss rod right there. Allows you to make those little adjustments. Okay. Whenever you get something set up and then it travels, things are gonna go out of whack a little bit, right? Due to weather changes, humidity changes. So that truss rod, warning though, if you're new to a truss rod, check out some YouTube videos on how to use a truss rod, or when you do it, when you turn it, just really small little quarter turns at a time. But that's what that's gonna do, it's gonna change the, the shape of the neck a little bit. So from flat to a little bit of a bow, which you want a little bit of a bow, to a little bit of a back bow, which you don't want at all. But that's what's really nice about this as well, having that truss rod. So again, this is the Pono AB Acacia Baritone Deluxe six string with the cedar top, absolutely fantastic. This one today is tuned guitar Lely style A to A. If you're interested, store.youcollectopros.com. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for all the support, and we'll see you next time.